Both of the cars are absolutely filthy. They've each had their fair share amount of time sitting outside while I work on the other car and it's rained and snowed these past couple weeks. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, but today it's 50 degrees outside. So I figured now's my best chance to get these things cleaned up. And then we can install something on the GR86 that has been sitting in my garage for way too long. And I am super excited to finally get it on the car because it is going to absolutely transform how it looks. So let's get this thing washed up and then we can open up that big box in my garage. almost embarrassed to show you guys how bad the FRS is. Look at all this gunk that's built up on the rear wing and just the back here and everywhere. Uh, people often ask me how my cars are always so shiny. Well, it's because I don't show you guys when they're like this, but I'm like anybody else, my cars get dirty too. I've got both the cars nice and clean so we can move on to this thing. First off, look at this. I have never received a car part that was packaged this well. This is a custom made wooden box to ensure that this got here in one piece. Hopefully that is the case. Let's open it up and figure it out. so many screws. Oh, better pick that up. I need to put these in a box. I want to say there was about 20 screws holding just this top piece in, but I got them all out and we should be able to take this piece off now. Clearly this box was designed to be nearly indestructible. So I don't think I'm going to be able to just pull the hood out the top. So what I'm going to need to do is fully disassemble all the wood pieces. the other side off but I still can't get the cardboard box out because of how tightly it's packed so I'm going to continue on and hopefully once we get this side off I can pull the box out. Now we just have a bunch of staples to deal with. Again just got to make sure that we uh, don't lose any. If you guys couldn't already tell, we have got a new hood in here and look at how well this thing has been packed. We've got pool noodles along the edges and they actually used the same material they use for the splitters to protect the edges. All I have to do now is to get this bubble wrap off and then we can get a glimpse of this thing.
I need to get these three wooden braces off and then I'll flip it over and give you guys a look. This is the Sabre Design carbon fiber front hood. I actually ordered this way back last year. It showed up in the middle of winter, so I hadn't had the chance to install it. It's been sitting in my garage. At the time, I actually was looking at importing a Varus hood, but this popped up and immediately grabbed my attention. It is gorgeous. It's inspired by the GT300 BRZ that competes overseas in Japan. It's got the aggressive venting in the middle here with the three large vents, and of course, it's carbon fiber. There's not much more I need to say. You guys have seen it, but let's get the stock hood off of the car and get this thing installed. See how we did for the fitment on the first time. Fuck oh, yes! There you go guys, the hood is finally installed. Huge shout out to Sabre Designs. Now I'm contemplating taking the black roof wrap off because I feel like paired with the hood, it just makes the car a little bit too dark for my liking. But let me know what you guys think. How do you like the hood? Should I take the roof wrap off? Also, during the filming of this video, we hit 35,000 subscribers. I have to say thank you to each and every one of you. You guys are what is keeping me going. I gotta be completely honest with you. It hasn't been easy, but I'm gonna continue to push out as much content as I can and help give back when I'm able. So to celebrate 35,000, I'm gonna be giving away some Driven Media merch. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed and then comment down below with what your plans are for your car this summer. Whether you have a certain modification or maybe you're wrapping or painting your car or going to an event or track day. I'm curious to hear what you guys are gonna be up to, so comment down below and I'll announce the winner in next week's video. But that is gonna do it for today, guys. If you wanna help support this channel, check out the Driven.media website, and if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.